Hello and welcome to the Becker County Master Gardeners Rambling Rose. My name is Linda Prine and today I want to talk to you about the multicolored Asian lady beetles. And there's so much information about these beetles that I'm going to just have to read you some of it because it's very interesting and it's just stuff that I can't all memorize. So here we go. Um, the lady beetles feed on aphids and other soft body insects that can damage plants and agriculture crops, gardens and landscapes, landscapes making them beneficial insects to farmers and gardeners. The multicolored Asian lady beetle is a native of Eastern Asia. These insects were released by the U.S. Department of Agriculture in California in 1916 and in 1964 and 1965 for biological control of pecan aphids. And since um, they've moved across the states and they were first sighted in Minnesota in November of 1994. So I just thought that was some very interesting information that they are beneficial and what, and what their purpose is. And what is happening is we start to see them. They start to appear, they're, first off, they're, they can be orange, yellow, and a dark red. Most of the time they have little 19 little black spots on them, sometimes no spots. It just kind of depends, the different, um, different uh, coloring on them. But anyway, um, they are important predators of the soybean aphids and they're a serious pest of, which is a serious pest of soybeans in Minnesota and other Midwest states. Um, so anyway, they are beneficial. Sometimes we kind of wonder because they're in our house losing, houses living with us and we're like, uh. But anyway, they are, uh, what they like to do is uh, in the fall, like when the temperatures get to be around 65 degrees and in the evenings it's starting to freeze or get near freezing temperatures, they start to cluster. And um, then they start to cluster on buildings and pretty soon they're crawling in the cracks and the gaps of the buildings trying to find a warm place to live. It's, they know it's, winter's coming and they have to have some place warm. So they're finding some place where they can overwinter. And that's why they, they're in masses like that. So, <clears throat> um, but the question is, why do we see lady beetles during the winter and in our homes? They do not hibernate in your home. They're not, it's not like they came and laid eggs. They come into our home because they have a place where it's warm. And wherever they are, all of a sudden it starts to warm up in the walls. They're starting to move around and they're starting to wake up and they're starting to move into our houses. Um, I was, where I find my lady beetles in my house is like I have a window that has a crack um, on the, on the bar bottom of the window part. I, I know that. I need to fix that this coming summer. Um, a screen might have a little bit of a damage. Um, if there's pipes or TV cords or any of that kind of stuff coming into your home, that's another place where they're going to find any little place to crawl in, like an eighth inch or, or smaller, larger I mean. Um, so what you should be doing is sealing the cracks around your windows, um, looking for any place for repairs, um, like especially like around doors, entry doors, that kind of stuff, put on more threshold, um, uh, put on more threshold sweeps. And also a good thing for controlling, um, this is just on the outside, is putting a, uh, a barrier around the outside of your house. And that could have uh, dilethmethrin or permethrin. Call my office, I can give you the information. Make sure you read the labels first. Um, but anyway, that's a good thing to do. Inside, you really don't want to be, um, spraying. It's too late. They're there and they're going to be with you. One little trick that I have learned, um, you can vacuum them up. And when you vacuum them, um, you always have to keep changing your bags all the time. But here, um, it's just a little idea that the university gives and it's to take your, uh, like a, a pantyhose, um, a knee, knee sock pantyhose, put it in your vacuum hose and a little rubber band around it and that holes holds the the sock in there the stocking in there and so then when you suck up all of the um, beetles and you're done cleaning around the windows or wherever there's an infestation of them you just take the whole thing out take your rubber band off put the rubber band around and you can dispose of it but that's just a good way and you won't be using up all your vacuum cleaner bags so I thank you for joining us today at Becker County Master Gardeners Rambling Rose and we hope to talk to you soon.
Thanks and have a good day.